morning. Uh, this is Proteon Electric. My name is Ken Stewart. And you often think about hybrids or electric vehicles, uh, various advanced technologies. They all use electric motors somewhere in the drivetrain, either to augment an engine or to actually replace a gas or a diesel engine and power the vehicle. We've got a different idea. Instead of an electric motor that's based inside the vehicle, somewhere in the middle, to help drive the wheels, then you've got to run transmissions, drive shafts, differentials in order to get all that torque out to the wheels. Why not put the motor device right at the wheel? So that's what our company does. We're a company that makes an in-wheel motor design. It's a patented design. No one else has one like this. And this motor fits in an 18-inch wheel, like a commercial over-the-road wheel, and it has 110 horsepower. So two of these motors on a passenger car could motor it down the road, just, just with these wheel motors. Let's go over here. If you take two of these motors and build them into, let's say, a rear axle, this is an example. This is actually a production Mustang rear axle, and we bought this and put the wheel motors on so we could show you how it all fits up. A wheel motor on each side mounted to the conventional hub and uh, bearing system from a production car. You also need to tend to making sure that you know, you've got the right loads and the right structures, but this is a commercial setup and interface. Then our wheel motor it occupies all the airspace behind the 18-inch wheel. And then you replace the production brake system with a disc brake system to give you redundancy. We actually have regenerative braking in the motor, but also we have a redundant mechanical brake system. Okay, so the last thing you do to help make this into a vehicle is you have high voltage and a control signal and then a coolant loop that's common with a coolant loop that's used for the engine. So this system now allows you to bolt on a hybrid drive system. You can make a hybrid truck or a car from an existing vehicle that's on the road that today is not a hybrid. Or you could even put two motors on and make it a pure electric car. You can size the battery small or big, it doesn't matter. We work with all battery manufacturers. The key is you've now got the motor outside where you need the torque and it's a relatively simple way to retrofit a vehicle or to make a hybrid. Okay, okay so now we've gone from a wheel to an axle. How about to a whole vehicle? Let's take something uh, small and dainty like a full-size F-150 truck. This is a demonstration vehicle. I'm not necessarily saying we ought to make a million of these trucks, but on the other hand, it could be done. There is one wheel motor in each wheel, four wheels. Each wheel has 110 horsepower, so you're looking at a 440 peak horsepower all-electric F-150 pickup truck. This vehicle will drive around, do all sorts of truck duties as a pure electric vehicle to show you how powerful the motors are in moving a full-size vehicle. The sweet spot for the market for this kind of a wheel motor is kind of the upper end of the class one size. Full-size cars, full-size vans, minivans, SUVs, and full-size pickup trucks into class one, heading into class two. One final thing. When you put four wheel motors on a truck, you now have enough horsepower where you don't necessarily need to go with a gas engine anymore. So for this demonstrator, we simply got rid of the engine. All that's left is space underneath, some microprocessors. It's a little ugly under there because this is actually an engineering truck from about four years ago. The last thing I want to do is talk to the engineers and they're dropping a beer cooler right here and then we'll be all set. So.